human being, aside from being under a spell, will ordinarily court death. But many pedestrians in Lagos State appear to be recklessly courting death as they have definitely resorted to crossing the expressway instead of using pedestrian bridges constructed by the state government. Against this background, the Nigerian Society of Engineers, the Kenjas branch, at a sensitization campaign in beggar area of the state, beckoned the Nigerians to always make use of pedestrian bridges. The chairman of NSC, Kenja chapter engineer Fumi Akingbagbo, who made the call on Tuesday, said pedestrian bridges are meant to provide a safe means of crossing expressway and to prevent the obstruction of free traffic flow. Engineer Akingbagbo appealed to the state government to repair the bridges that have been identified as death traps. Some of the pedestrians who spoke with MITV crew said more bridges will prevent death on the highways suffered at the hands of eight and run drivers. Of using the pedestrian bridge is to ensure the safety of life of each person and also to reduce the traffic congestion on the roads around where the bridges are supposed to be. A lot of people have lost their lives, especially where we're standing. A lot of people have lost their lives early in the mornings and late in the night because there was no pedestrian bridge. Concerning the Urbanikoro bridge, uh, to work on some of this bridge, and I know that Lagos State is equal to the task because they are very, very passionate about the life of humans and property in Lagos State. And I know that the Lagos State Governor is listening to us this morning, and I know that work is going to commence almost immediately on those bridges. They are not in good shape. For instance, right in front of me, someone trips at, on that Ojota bridge. She tripped and she almost hit her head against the aisle. Imagine that situation. And Urbanikoro bridge it's not anything to write him about. Those are examples of bridges that should be amended by the government. So I appreciate this, but government should look into that and fix the bridge, make it safe. So them haven't have uh, hoodlums loitering about there that like, don't feel safe using the bridges. So I think government should look into that too. Still in the southwest in Ocean State, a nation that witnesses less violence will possibly conduct a non-violent election. Guest lecturer at the Maiden 